Hello friends, welcome back. We are in uh, coronavirus preparation around here. What I am doing is I'm doing what I can do. For lots of folks, I mean, we've been hearing this, I've been in moving mode. I've been in moving mode and I think, oh, all the things I should have prepped and ready for like to go on quarantine and for there to be a pandemic and, and here I am. So I'm doing what I can and I'm sure you're doing what you can. I talked to a friend of mine this morning who's on a limited budget and I mean I'm on a limited budget we're all on limited budgets and so we were just talking about just doing what you can you know if you can do anything if you are in a position to do a little something then do a little something so I'm doing a little something I've been going through what I have on hand and organizing and I'm pretty sure I mean, of course we could be all done with this in a few weeks or six months from now, we could be real thankful that we have these chicken eggs. So I mentioned in my last video that I was going to pick up some more chicks because that is something I can do today. We have our hens out there. I'm, I'm watching them scratch for bugs. So I'm going to pick up chicks at our tractor supply today. And I also have another Walmart grocery pickup order to pick up this afternoon. Then after that, we are putting ourselves on, what is it? I keep forgetting the name. The self-limiting, it's not like the government mandated quarantine, but it's a self-spacing limiting. I'm sure a hundred of you tell me in the comments, but basically where they're suggesting in our country at least. I mean, I know Italy's already on lockdown when I'm filming this and a week from now when this comes comes out, who knows where we'll be. Uh, follow me on Instagram if you don't already because I'll be updating over there. As of this moment, since everything's canceled in our area, I mean, colleges are canceled, public schools are canceled, um, homeschool group, just ev everything's canceled. After I go back out today, we will be staying home. I'm thinking, at least four weeks. I mean, I know they're saying two to four weeks. I'm thinking it could quickly end up being months. I'm just saying we don't know. It's a great reason to go buy some chickens today. So we're gonna get some more peep peeps. So along with that, let's look at my new coffee bar. I think I shared a glimpse of this on Instagram a few days ago. So Instagram folks have seen this over a week ahead of YouTube. Um, but let me show you how it's working out so far. There were several of you who were concerned and it was a good concern because it made me say, oh yeah, Travis, you need to do that. Um, but there wasn't an outlet here. So Travis, there's a, let's see if I can show it. Maybe I can move it. He did a, sounded like Tim the Toolman Taylor um, update on what he, what kind of outlet that is, but it's a good one. He's excited. If you go over to Instagram and click the little fixer upper tab in my stories, you'll hear the kind of wire and all everything he used. So I got this cart from Amazon. Um, I psychoanalyzed a lot of carts. A lot of the stainless steel ones I wanted were 48 inches long, which were, was going to put them um, a few inches past this wall here. And I I'm just worried about too much space. So I think this one was like 46 or 47 inches. Um, it was just a little less, so I thought we'd have some more clearance. Because Travis is six foot six and I have tall kids, I always try to think about clearance even though I'm five four. Um, I also was getting into psychoanalyzing like the colors of the carts. Maybe I should have gone with gray. I don't know. I couldn't get one that was just truly all stainless steel that was the little bit smaller size. So I went with this white, and so I know we got white on white, but Hey, I feel like it's a fun little coffee bar. I'd also recently, because I have so many Instant Pot recipes coming out, picked up two more um, inner pots and then a second Instant Pot so that I can be doing, you know, those Instant Pot cheesecakes in one and working on another recipe to share with you in the other. So there you go. Um, cute little mug tree. I got some more mugs that are being washed. Here is that Pioneer Woman teapot and we do really enjoy using that and I love just keeping that little thing full of tea bags for the kids. So there you go. It's official. Also, 
just shared in my last video. Uh, we will be making some progress though on these boxes. The state of the union in this room, 30 some Ikea boxes. This is what we'll be building and hopefully in this video we're gonna crack some of these open and, and at least get started. But now let's go pick up those chicks and get this emergency Walmart grocery haul. They have a lot of things on hand but there were some other things that I needed. So as long as we have electric, uh, you know, we can work through these things. I've also thought, I know you can can meat. So if things get sketchy electric wise, I will seriously start cooking up and canning a bunch of meat again. Do what you can do, right? So we are here at Tractor Supply and hopefully while everybody else is out buying toilet paper, I think there's still some toilet paper in this town that we're in, uh, I've heard tale of. Hopefully there's some little chickens left and I'm gonna get a bunch of them. Okay, oh, I'm hearing them. Oh boy, oh, they've got all kinds. Ducks, two, what are these? Bantams. So many little cuties. Now, I've never had one of these. This is actually a pretty good price for this. So look, little heater. Okay, got potatoes, got chicks, got another light bulb, got seed starters, got some bushes, got some seeds. So happy Saturday, we are doing eggs. Now, we always think this is interesting. And of course, we're getting used to having farm fresh eggs these again. Are, these are the, the eggs that came from the chickens. These are one. Yeah, so the, the, the um, free ranging, homegrown chickens, their yolks are always substantially darker. We don't even have our eggs from today yet though. Hey, Bobby. Hey, sweetie. So we're supplementing with our store-bought, but now that we have... Hey, Bobby. Hi, Benjamin. Are you watching Liam? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna make all these up because that will give us enough for scrambled eggs for breakfast and maybe a little bit left over. It's this um, Brahma breed. That's the one. So we got a straight run. We got a straight run. That means they were, I got five. They were $2.49 each. We don't know if they're boys or girls, and that's fine. And then we got 24 that were about $3.49 each, and they're supposed to all be hens. So there's our mix. mix. Now we're gonna mix it up. You keep it in a circle, and don't press down hard. Go in big circles. Amelia, what do y'all think of those chickies? Good. Good? Were they so wonderful? Yeah, I love the chickies. Be Benny, you like your chickies? Okay, they're gonna all clamor to use this mixer. Keep moving it, Daniel. Big circles. Nice. Woo! Oh, mommy's turn. Oh boy. So, yesterday, uh, got the chickens. As I mentioned, I got 29 total, and we have 11. So that brings us back up to 40, which whenever we have enough eggs for our family on a daily basis, we really need about 40 because just now when we made eggs um that was about four dozen and honestly looking at it i don't think we will have leftovers that's a classic large family mom thing where you look at something and you think oh i'll make all this and i'll have leftovers and then you don't when we had a smaller size family like three kids or so i would think oh i could make this make a little more and we'll have leftovers but then once, well, yeah, once we cross whatever that line is to make us a larger than average family, then there, there's not that many leftovers, no matter what I, what I think. I did go ahead and get my gardening stuff at Tractor Supply. Big reason I did that, you know, I don't, I don't necessarily think we're gonna be quarantined for two years and have to live off the land. Never know. Uh, but I figured we could get our seeds started. I'm already behind the game for getting seeds started. And I was look and I was looking at obviously since we're gonna have since we're gonna have four weeks truly at home with no outside activities, we can put our time woohoo, breakfast, breakfast, put our time into those things. So we're gonna do that. So I went ahead and got all the garden stuff. I got a food dehydrator. I got more glass jars because looking on Amazon, they were like 20 some dollars a case. And I thought, well, that's ridiculous. So at Walmart, they were $8 a case. So I went ahead and got more glass jars. Not that we're gonna have canning time during this, but I thought I'm gonna go ahead and have my jars I need. I got more pencils because since the move, I think I have found three so far and my kids love to draw, so we definitely needed more pencils. I got about two thirds of my Walmart grocery order. Again, it was 
just normal stuff I like to have on hand anyway. And as I mentioned, yeah, that's not sugar, honey, it's salt. Brush it into your hand. Um, I have been working, because normally I have my freezer's full and my refrigerator full and my pantry full. But as you've been watching here on YouTube, I lost everything in the refrigerators and the freezers um, during this move. So I have been stocking and replenishing those items anyway. The last of it just happened to hit when everyone else is going to the store shopping like how I normally do anyway. So welcome to my world, folks. That's what it feels like. Okay, sausage is sat in there a little long there. That's all the eggs. I dumped the little pan into the big pan and there we go. So happy Saturday morning breakfast. Okay, we're on the scooter. This is what we do for fun. You go drive me? Could not find my contacts. That's another box I've got to unpack. We're driving around now. Travis's scooter thingy. So somehow we're back inside. We had a big chick holding time. What we're doing now is lunch, and everyone has been enjoying our tea kettle. And we just. I want my tea. You want your tea? Yes. So I'm putting on another kettle of hot tea because already our one kettle did about four and a half cups, and we need more than a four and a half cups full of tea here. And I was also thinking just how convenient it was. You know, I wasn't sure when I got the kettle how useful it would be, but otherwise we're just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with the microwave. And this at least all at one time, it can be seeping and brewing and liking it. Okay. And Benjamin is singing Phil Collins in the air tonight behind me. Liam is doing the drums. Okay, so I've got mine, Naomi's, this was Daniel's. This is Liam's. This is Amelia's. No, this was Daniel's. That's Benjamin's. But I don't have one yet for Gabriel. He's outside putting some toys in baskets for me. And I don't think Zion wants one, but I'll ask. And we have been loving having our little sampling here of uh, all the different teas. This is still, and this was at Costco. I mean, who knows if it's at Costco today. But I could get a four pack of this. I love this turmeric and ginger. Have that one in the evening a lot um, for the last couple months, really. And the girls love vanilla chai. Also, several love cinnamon spice. And then I give my younger boys this tea. I also call this a bedtime tea because it's real gentle and caffeine free. The hardest part for everybody, because this gets super hot, is to let everything sit for about 10 minutes until it's ready. And of course, for kids, I'll add in just some cold water from the pitcher in the fridge too. Hey Liam, you're gonna spill your tea now. <laughs> Please don't hold it behind your back. We have, we have major sillies going on. Yeah, so there you go. Happy lunchtime. The kids just came in so excited. Our, our hens have been doing all kinds of free ranging and we have a whole bunch of eggs here. We've been getting at the most eight to nine eggs a day. That's with 11 hens that are laying, but because they are, let's see if you see them out about, they're free range and I don't have like a little fence up for them yet either. At the other house, I would still let them out to free range every day, but it would be later in the afternoon. They had a little fenced in yard in the front and so they had tons of room to run. They could go in the coop to lay their egg and then later in the afternoon, I'd let them out. So here, we're just not that far yet, which they don't mind. They're just out free ranging and getting bugs and having a great time. I leave them in a little longer in the morning. They might lay, I don't know, two to three eggs in there, but most of them, they're laying them in different nesting spots around the yard, but the kids know most of their spots but today, 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 they found another nest that had most of these eggs. So, oh, and eggs, whenever they're um, homegrown eggs like this, as long as they haven't been washed yet, there's a coating on them called the bloom that actually keeps them fresh for a long time with no refrigeration. So these are probably over the last few days. That's my dryer singing to me, but I'll go show you how we have the chicks set up. So with the chicks, I don't have, um, don't have like any shavings or even hay for them as of yet. It just, 
slipped my mind, but we have a bunch of leaves here. And I thought, well, that's perfect. And that's what the chicks did last night. I had the heat lamp on, we had them all set up, but they still bed down and kind of snuggled down in the dry leaves. So it's working out pretty well. And the chicks are getting all kinds of attention, but we've got a big tank here for them. But of course they all get under that heat light and this is about the size of their container from Tractor Supply, only there were two to three more times uh, the amount of chickens. So these little, these little ladies and maybe a rooster or two here, they'll probably be in here for up to, yeah, one's really fussing, for probably um, up to two weeks or so, and then they start hopping out. That's Godzilla, that's the one that Liam thinks is a rooster. Okay, so those are my chicken updates. So this is funny, we unboxed these new mattresses for the bunk beds today. And with all the funky germs going on in the world and stuff, I had Naomi like get all the plastic off. I was like, just lay them in the big bushes in the front yard. So we're gonna air these out until tomorrow. And then the kids will have new mattresses, uh, air fresh. I don't know, this could be a new look for me. This could be the hat I need to start going around in. What do you think, Amelia? Well, mm -hmm. mm. It's technically Liam's, I would need to get my own, but this might be my uh, social distancing quarantine hat. You gotta have a little quarantine humor, right Amelia? So, sending kids to bed now. Got my hot tea going on. Travis is, you're watching jokes in my ear, man. No, you're watching fighting. Does your husband watch stuff on his phone while you're sitting? You didn't know I was filming, did you? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, by the way, I'm filming. So, just got done um, talking to a family member of mine who can't get out and about right now with um, all the things going on. So I think what I'm gonna do, you can see how our Ikea plans went today, right? Mm -hmm. So, stick with me here. <laughs> We're gonna get to building something. So I just got done getting this family member's list. And I think I'm gonna go in the morning um, hopefully the store won't be too crazy. It's a small single person list, so it'll be cute to watch me shop for it. It's like bleach wipes and toilet paper. And I told him, well, you know how toilet paper may turn into paper towels or napkins. Um, trash bags, they're gonna be the cute little trash bags. Tissues, eggs, there's probably a dozen eggs, a little butter some baked beans, some ginger ale, some tuna, some cheese, some Benadryl, um, some orange juice, two little cans of candy, just like real quick little stuff. So that will be fun for me to do like a normal little one person. Let's see if Jim Morrell can do a little one person list. Um, and I'm gonna also look for just a few, like they don't have a lot of storage space but just a few little um, like pantry staple items. I don't know, just to have a pound of rice on hand or whatever, it would not hurt because I would love to do this person shopping next week, but I don't know. Will we be able to leave the house next week? I don't, I don't know how this is gonna go down. This whole, all my vlogs right now is gonna be me saying, and I laugh, I know it's serious, please know, laughter is the best medicine, right? We have to keep up our joy in all of this. But this is like a little one week haul, little one week shopping trip for them. But I want to get them a few other little things, um, even if it's just like a couple, you know, some bananas and a pound of rice, just a little something extra to have there. And then hopefully next week, I can get their stuff again. So that's what I've added on that we're gonna do in the morning. Good morning, friends. I am ready now. It always seems like it takes mama forever to get ready. But locked myself away in the bathroom, teeth are brushed, ready to go. We're gonna go grocery shopping now. I'm gonna go to a smaller town. I'm not gonna go into Walmart. I've heard there's two stores in one of these little small towns I have to drive through that actually has pretty decent stock. So for me to get this family member, um, her list is for a week's worth of groceries. Again, I'm probably gonna get her like maybe 10 days instead of seven days, just in case. Again, like I said, things change so rapidly. So if I sound wishy-washy, um, we're all living this, <laughs> so we know. If we heard, the things going through my head are, um, what if they announce here in a few days that we're gonna have a 21-day mandated 
like government quarantine again I don't know and then there will then there will be an even bigger run on the store so I just want her to have what she needs okay so you know I lie right <laughs> so um, I did go out and shop for my family member, also took them lunch, had lunch with them, unloaded all the stuff, got them um, just to where they don't have to fuss and worry and fight the crowds at the store and those kind of things for a bit. Um, checked it off the list. I was gonna film at some of the stores and I just, I just didn't because, uh, I don't know. Got a lot of, yes you can honey. Got a lot on my head, a lot on my head. <laughs> anyway, um, also while I was out, you see what happened is, mm -hmm, one thing leads to another and next thing you know, mom is coming home with six turkeys. So I did. I went to Tractor Supply and I got those six turkeys I've been talking about because over the last few days when I saw turkeys there, um, I've just been researching about raising turkeys with chickens and such. So no one minded that I also came home with six little turkeys. So those are some of our updates from the day. Now, all the stores locally, and just to give you some reference, I am filming this on March 16th. I know my stuff is always a week behind or so. Hopefully this will be helpful and relative to some mamas now. I was just, um, on, on my Facebook page, I was just talking to some moms who could not find flour in their area and couldn't find some basic things like that. And I told them, this might be a place to look for you, depending on where you are and what's going on in the universe when this video comes out. But don't forget to look at places like Dollar Tree and also Family Dollar. Today for my family member, I was able to walk right into Family Dollar and they had toilet paper and I got them toilet paper. I had also brought them some of our toilet paper. I know I got lots of comments about my last video because I had all that toilet paper on top of my refrigerator. But just know for me, that is not me being like a crazed toilet paper prepper. I'm not buying it and then selling it for four times the, as much or I'm not wiping out any shell, shelves or anything. As a large family of 10 with nine at home, I mean, we already school from home and work from home full time. That takes a lot of supplies. So I always stock up for a month or more on things like household items such as toilet paper, etc. So just had to get on my little toilet paper rant there. Um, but I was glad today when I went out to find some locally at Family Dollar for my family member. Um, excuse me, now my eye is gonna do some weird twitchy like, it's just feeling scratchy. I'm gonna close my eyes while I talk. What I was telling these other mamas today, that's what we're circling back to. Don't forget to check out the smaller stores. Dollar Tree right now, locally where I am, it has flour, it has sugar, it has rice, and it has dried goods. Now look, Mama J. Morrell here, I'm not inciting panic <laughs> with my eye that's closing and drying on its own, um, but it's in times like these where especially mamas with a lot of kids, there's just a lot of, uh, Amelia is downstairs policing, if you hear any hooting and hollering. Some child just took food downstairs and that's a big no-no. So I'm hearing Amelia downstairs telling whoever not to take food downstairs. Anyway, um, when I do my monthly grocery shopping, I mean, it could be two big Costco carts, or if I go to Walmart, it could be three big Walmart carts. If I go to Sharp Shopper, it could be two carts. I mean, it's always multiple carts because when I shop, I'm shop, I have always shopped four to six weeks in advance for 10 people. Now I know we're down a person because uh, the oldest has flowed the coop, but I still shop for 10 because we still have, you know, what I buy hasn't changed. Kids are getting older. We have teens or more preteens now. People visit, all of that. Um, so just part of the frustration that I'm hearing again, as of m Monday, March 16th is from the sweet mamas who, you know, some moms shop every week or every other week. And it's just a mom with a bunch of kids and she has her regular overflowing cart. Well, because of the fear and the concern, I mean, we, we all have concerns. The world is changing minute by minute right now for all of us. And uh, 
next thing I'll be giving you a Jesus salvation message, I'm sure, at some point here. <laughs> anyway, um, everything is changing minute by minute, but a lot of these mamas and a lot of these carts that are overflowing are people who this is their normal. They would normally have two big carts at Walmart or one overflowing cart at Walmart. I guess my little two cents today, because I even heard some chatter when I was out shopping for one person today with one cart, but at Family Dollar, their carts are smaller. I had that cart loaded up. And then at Food Line, another little grocery store, I went there instead of Walmart. And again, I feel like those stores, like their carts are actually smaller, they're not as deep. I had that cart full up filled up and the point is I just think the judgment needs to simmer down because you don't because we don't know the person's situation I mean in my area there's a lot of group homes and so the person with the overflowing cart of food or two carts of food might be feeding 15 people at the group home I don't know it could be a family with 13 kids and so people have to realize look that family, just consider them three or four families. <laughs> you know, we have to break it down like that. They are paying for the items that their family needs. I don't know. That's just all, that's that's just my little afternoon Jane Morrell rant. So I brave <laughs> I braved the crowds today. Wasn't too bad. And somehow I also came home with six turkeys. So again, that's me. That's my stocking up. I keep buying live poultry. <laughs> and I'm also Working on getting us some goats, some dwarf Nigerian go goats. Tell me about that. Because for years, y'all know I've said it, and back at the farmhouse we had it. Gonna have another garden, gonna have another garden, gonna can food, gonna, this is my non-homesteading regrets going on here, gonna do a beehive, gonna get those goats. And now I see, oh, mm-hmm. That's where that would be super helpful. Not that we don't have, we have what we need for how things are currently. But yeah, I just, I'm telling you, like as we're going through this and once we get through this, I'm going all like homesteading prepper Jamarell on you. I really am. <laughs> so the vlog where Jamarell regrets she's not a homesteading prepper. There you go. Okay. So all that to say, Mama still has to get some work done here. I've got to get a video up for you guys. Then I'm gonna make some dinner. Coming up next. I was also just saying to Zion, Zion's in his room hammering, and I was saying that, Zion, this is supposed to be my Ikea building vlog, and it's not. But Zion is moving on with his life and putting his new Ikea bedroom furniture together. So let's see, Here, here's a little Ikea action for you. So these are the Billy bookshelves he's built. And see, these are the nice tall Billy bookshelves. Zion is building it, he's been yes. hammering. He's yes. been, you using Gorilla Glue? Uh, flex glue. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Good deal, okay, so his room is coming together. It's gonna be brand I know, new. Benjamin was grabbing my foot and I was, I was, playing with them and you were saying, scorch your foot, scorch your foot, scorch your foot. Okay, oh, oh my, oh my, this is a, say mommy, cook dinner, cook dinner, what are you doing with your life, okay. Liam, this is important. Yes. We need to show this. Okay, so, Liam, you called it a lightsaber belt, didn't you? Yeah. He's got drink bottles and you have, what, what's sticks. with the glue sticks now? Well, they're here to like, look, if it, if I just did oh, this. Oh, so you did it to do it, yeah. tension. Yeah, to do tension. You are a genius. Okay, so Liam, let's see this thing in action. Okay, so. Kids on quarantine. <laughs> so you open them up. Woo! Just a sleeve. Uh-huh, and that's your holders. That is awesome. Yeah. Lots so of fun. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. It comes a double sleeve. Wow. I just, I love the holders. I think that's awesome. So how, how has it been? Let's talk about kids on quarantine now, okay? So you, you have not been out, out and about, let's see. Today is Monday, I think since last Wednesday. So almost seven days. But you've been able to get outside, right? Yeah, I've been getting outside. And we've, we've had our moving projects. Yeah. But, but how, how you feeling, man? How you holding up? Good. Good? You inventing stuff? 
Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Okay, making progress. So the next thing, and I, I've got garlic in my hand, but uh, so the next thing you were doing, you did your, tell them your system on how you decide, like what your, what order you're building things. Go to my bookshelf first to get mm -hmm. my, uh, my boxes unpacked. Right, they're yes. They're not here anymore because I unpacked them. Yes, because you now have and a bookshelf. <laughs> I was going to build this, and I have to you get built this it. big pile of clothes in there. Ah, yeah, Cyan um, needs a wardrobe, and now you shall have it. Yes. So let's see what this wardrobe looks like inside. It's nice and wide. It is nice. It considering is nice your mother didn't measure it, and we oh, yeah. picked it out online, but see the doors? Yes. Doors look nice. Yes. I, mean, I might do the bed because it's getting late. <laughs> right, right. But, um, you might, you might like, sleep on a bed, yeah. Yes. Uh, either a desk or a bed, and then I'm going to put this other, the rest of this stuff under the bed. Yes. Definitely. Uh, and then, uh, yes, okay, we're yes. making progress. But we were just talking about, we need to make our quarantine bucket list. Tell me if your family has done this yet. We need to make a list of all the books we wanna read and all the movies we wanna watch. Naomi was just telling me you really wanna watch, she wants to watch Gone with the Wind, which we watched it a few months ago, but. We watched it a few months ago, but I want to watch it again because mm -hmm. I wasn't, because kids were being noisy and I couldn't really Right, see right, we need, rapid. yes. Well, that's where we need to get another TV set up. See, we need our quarantine TVs going. We got one downstairs. We need to get all the, this vlog was supposed to be us building the Ikea beds. At least Zion is following through with his deal. Uh, we need to get our beds built so we can get our big TV brought upstairs and then we'll have and that that is something that I had picked up recently was another $24 DVD player really old school really uh, bringing back the memories with the DVD collection so yay but fun, fun things to look forward to read lots of books watch lots of movies we'll be doing other things too but I do want to make a, a bucket list of things we want to watch and read something that Naomi just brought to my attention that she recently found you okay Benjamin just bumped heads with Liam, I think. Oh. She found all of, I used to have, see I've always wanted to make videos. I used to have this really cool little handy cam. And are they super dusty? And so this little handy cam and it was so cool because it recorded DVDs, oh my. And all of our old home movies, look that was even drawn by Jaden. Look Jaden, we're nerding you out. So Jaden really loved the Chipmunks movie. He loved to draw the chipmunks. And so all of our little home movies for like five years there, they're all on these little DVD-R. Remember that? So I was telling the kids, now that would be a fun quarantine fun day is to, we get the beds made, we make a plan. Let's make, let's make a life plan here. Say it again, Jamerell. Beds made, TV set up, other TV set up. And then we could get like all, we don't have a couch, so, oh well. <laughs> but, no no couches, we have a living room, but we can set it up like covers and pillows, like a big like sl sleepover, slumber party day. I mean, we are technically having a long time of that. I mean, I'm saying that, when I'm saying that in this video, we're still at this point on suggested, self, recommended self distancing. But tonight is the night they just instituted the 24 hour quarantine for San Francisco. We're in Virginia. We just know like it, it will get here and that's, that's fine. That's what we got plenty to do. Um, so we're making, making our plans. Yes. So that would be a fun day. We can watch through, watch through all the movies. Zion, so, we're so glad that you saved the Ikea video with actually getting some Ikea building done. I guess. Oh, that is such a good looking wardrobe. I have achieved pure <laughs> Swedishness. Yes, yes, yes. The Swedishness is strong with this one. Yes. Okay, open open both doors. Yes. Very nice. So do you have a bar? Oh, you do have a bar at the top. I do. Okay, and you can... I can hang you things can, there. You can adjust it. Yes. Very nice. You have other things here. Can you get more shelves and things? Uh, I don't see any. We. I'm sure Ikea has. Yes ways ways to accomplish this isn't zion's hair yes it's all very amazing yes. very very nice okay well this is a no nice wardrobe and now to fit those clothes in there yes. well now you do have a good amount of space on top yes I do. so we could get you did you secure that to the wall already I did. okay yes we're, we're good about securing yes. things to walls around here so 
you could have some totes or other storage on top. Well, friends, me and giant cup of coffee, we should name my coffee cup that I like to hold full, but see, it's not almost spilling over this time, so I have been working on it. Today is a brand new day, the mercy of the Lord. His mercies are new each day, so we're gonna do all our things today. I'm sure you are doing your things, probably mostly at home right now. Yeah, Benjamin's trying to put his shoes on to go see turkeys. Turkey lurkey. We decided. Oh, my puppy. Puppy, okay. We decided. Your puppy backpack. That is very important. We decided Benjamin's turkey is going to be named Turkey Lurkey. And his chicken. No, something about a puppy. Well. My idea is Benjamin's turkey's name is Turkey Lurkey and his chicken's name is Chicken Lickin'. <laughs> I thought that would be cute. Anywho, this video is a little closer to real time. Is today the 17th? Okay, someone changed our date blocks over there already. So today, you know every day is Groundhog Day. Today is the 17th. I'm hoping to have this video out within the next four to five days. Let's see if I make it. But I, do, I, I think when this video comes out, the world situation will still be rapidly changing. So follow me on Instagram if you're not already. I plan to go on every day or most days and do some sort of like live encouragement, chatty, Bible reading, pray with ya. And I said Bible reading, mm-hmm. Bible reading and uh, live praying. And you wanna play with your brothers and just check in with everybody over there as well. So be sure to follow me over there. And people. I should still, for the most part, be able to get out three videos a week. I mean, I don't know. We might be getting out more than three videos a week. Let me know in the description down below. I obviously, for uh, probably many months to come, will not be filming many shopping hauls. Of course, the cooking videos will continue, day in the life, week in the life, chatty Q&A type videos. Um, I have new things I'm going to learn and experiment with, like I guess we're getting a garden in. Of course, we'll, we will be getting to IKEA beds. Um, I also found out, you know, I'm, I'm looking around locally for things that can be done. And I was talking to someone from my church just about getting things or helping acquire items for the homeless in our area. Believe it or not, with the city that's 20 minutes away, it has a large homeless population. So I went out yesterday um, to get my family member what they needed and get help get them set up for a bit. But just saying in the coming weeks when I go out, I'm also, they gave me a list. They need like juice boxes, little, probably like little Debbie desserts that are prepackaged fruit um, and the stores in my area as of this video as of the 17th they haven't um, they're not completely bare some items are they're not completely bare and they're not limiting yet not saying that I'm gonna go buy all 50 cases of Kool-Aid but if I'm at two different stores maybe I could reasonably get four boxes of the little um, Capri Suns at one store and four boxes at another and help get some items that the people who do the homeless ministry who make the lunches and hand out the bags need to make the lunches. Is that making sense? So uh, maybe I could do a video on that if you'd like to see that. Just let me know in the description below what kind of other videos that you would like to see because yeah. I'm, I'm a here making videos, so hope you're doing well. I love you, Jesus loves you. Uh, remember my life verse, the verse that has always hammered me hard is Exodus 14, 14. The Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace and remain at rest. So if you don't have any particular video request, you could also share your favorite Bible verse in the comments. I'm sure that'll be very encouraging the people who are reading those from all around the world. So I'll see you real soon with another brand new video. Bye-bye.